Now, as fans, we've been waiting for clarification from Jose Mourinho on the Herrick Mkhitaryan situation and what really is going on. And he has now offered it to us. He has explained that he didn't feature against Arsenal because it was a game he didn't feel that was the right pressure situation for him. Now, Henry Mkhitaryan has obviously not completed 90 minutes for Man United this season. Made his first start in the Premier League against Manchester City, was swiftly taken off at half-time because he wasn't fit and he wasn't ready. A nice cameo against Hull. Uh, he also came on away at Fenerbahce, but didn't really make much of a difference in a game where Man United were very poor. Uh, and Mourinho's been talking about the situation and has offered a little bit of clarity on the issue. And here's what he had to say. He said, I've told him this Arsenal game was not for you. He said, I don't think you need 10 or 20 minutes from the bench. I think you need a good game and you need either a start or if not to come on for the second half. He needs less pressure and better conditions for him to express his qualities. Yes, he is getting closer. I told him today that he is going to be involved in the game against Feyenoord and he is trying. Obviously, he is not happy, but he is transforming that frustration in a good way, which is to close the mouth, to work hard and to try to adapt. Now, at the start of the season, we all saw the Henrik Mkhitaryan absence as down to a lack of match fitness, a lack of match sharpness. Uh, then he came back in and he got injured and he was gone for a month with a thigh injury. So we're saying, again, it's due to injury, it's due to a lack of match sharpness. It, it's explainable. But I think it was when Mkhitaryan was left out of the game, either against Burnley or Stoke, wasn't in the match day squad for those either, that fans really started to question what the fuck is going on. Uh, and this offers a little bit more clarity on the situation. And there are going to be people that are saying, ah, Mourinho's just making this up because he doesn't like the player. You know, this is just a convenient excuse not to play him. This is not the first time that Henrik Mkhitaryan has had pressure situations get the most of him. Because the exact same thing happened at Borussia Dortmund. Um, in his first season, he was uh, struck by injuries at the start of it after a promising pre-season. Uh, and went on to have a very indifferent campaign. And although he did improve in the second year under Jurgen Klopp, both years under Jurgen Klopp, he still wasn't fulfilling the potential that he showed at Shakhtar Donetsk that obviously brought him to Dortmund. So under the two years under Klopp, Mkhitaryan struggled. And it wasn't until the arrival of Thomas Tuchel uh, at Dortmund that he changed. And this is what he had to say because it was the introduction of a single book that helped Mkhitaryan overcome his psychological blocks and mental issues at Dortmund. He said, it was like it was written for me. I used to make all the mistakes mentioned there. I'm really grateful that the coach has changed the way I think. And the book itself was called The Inner Game of Tennis. Its purpose was to help individuals overcome self-doubt, nervousness and lapses of concentration, which could help keep a player from winning. Now, that very much falls in line with what Mourinho is saying about Mkhitaryan in that he isn't coping very well with being a Man United player. Dortmund is a big club, Man United, is a step up and Mkhitaryan is clearly struggling to adapt with that and obviously uh, players coming across from abroad to the Premier League some struggle anyway uh, so Mkhitaryan who has a history of struggling uh, with certain situations obviously he didn't score uh, last year in the three games against Bayern Munich uh, but you know he did score in big games such as Liverpool away I believe he got an assist uh, he definitely scored away um, so there are games where Mkhitaryan comes in, but he wasn't consistent in every single big match. He did get 32 goals and 23 assists, I believe, across all competitions. So his return was phenomenal, but Mkhitaryan has had problems before. But as far as Man United fans are concerned, we have to trust Jose Mourinho and his judgment on Mkhitaryan. Because he signed him as a specialist player. And something that I do question here is how much research was put into the signing of Mkhitaryan. Because we would have known about these problems prior to signing him if it wasn't a late move. And he was signed as a specialist player. Mourinho knew exactly what he was getting and he was happy he was getting him. So are fans. We were all buzzing. You know, all, all the signings, maybe that was the one I was most excited about. Because of his return, his goal return and his assist return with Dortmund last season. Um, but uh, something that people will point towards here, something I want to bring up as well, is the Kevin De Bruyne situation at Chelsea. Obviously at Chelsea, Mourinho effectively said that De Bruyne wasn't good enough for the Premier League. We all know what happened. He left for Wolfsburg, came back to Man City, and he's now one of the best players in the Premier League. At that time, De Bruyne was 22. He was a raw player. Everyone knew he had the potential, but at that moment in time, he hadn't really fulfilled it because he didn't have the opportunities to. He obviously went on to do that at Man City and Wolfsburg. Now, Mkhitaryan is 28 years old. In, in a footballer's prime, he's in it right now in terms of the career path and the age grouping of players. 
28-29 is when a player is considered in his peak. And Mkhitaryan is still suffering the same problems he's, he suffered three, four years ago when he was a younger player coming into the Bundesliga. Now, that's obviously down to him, that's down to the manager, that's down to the club. There's a lot of contributing factors, but Mkhitaryan clearly isn't adapting to the Premier League or life in England as well as we had hoped. Certainly not as well as Martial, who took it like a duck to water last year. But we just got to trust Jose Mourinho and the fact that he's going to get the most out of it because Jurgen Klopp didn't get the most out of him in two years. Thomas Tuchel was the man to get the most out of him. That form earned him his move to Man United. But now we've got to see him replicate that at Man United when the expectation is just that much higher. And hopefully we'll see it against Feyenoord on Thursday because Mourinho said he will play against Feyenoord and that's a big thing. But let me know your views on this Mkhitaryan situation because it's certainly frustrating for us. Imagine how frustrating it is for Mkhitaryan. But it's problems that he's gone through in the past and problems that we had all hoped that he had overcame before he arrived at Man United. But clearly that's not the case. Now it's down to Mourinho, down to Mkhitaryan to make that work at Old Trafford. And I hope it does because if it does, our conversion rate and our our problem with scoring goals and creating more chances may well disappear because Mkhitaryan is a top draw player. And with him, Zlatan, Pogba, Bay, all firing and all cylinders in a squad that was already good last year, that's what we expected to see this year. And that's why Man United were tipped as title contenders. So far, it hasn't really worked out in a lot of areas. But there's plenty of time left this season. And if Mkhitaryan can come good from December, January onwards, it may be a very different second after the season. As I said, let me know your comments below. As always, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. And we'll see you soon. Take it easy.